Hello again, it's Tim from Oracle Base. Com. Maybe something a bit more tuneful next time? Shut up, dog! Ah, oh, that's better. I love my dog. This video is about querying hierarchical data using a recursive with clause. We've discussed using connect by prior in another video. It's worth watching that video first as it will explain some of the terminology used here. First we have to create some hierarchical data. We'll try to keep this simple by using a table with just two columns. The ID column is the primary key and the parent ID column is defined as a self-referencing foreign key. With the table in place we can insert some hierarchical data. The first row has a parent ID of null, indicating that it's a root node. All other rows link back to a parent row. A recursive subquery factoring clause must contain two query blocks combined by a union all set operator. The first block is known as the anchor member, which cannot reference the query name. It can be made up of one or more query blocks combined by a union all, union, intersect or minus set operator. We can see here the anchor member is identifying all the parent rows, all those rows where the parent ID is null. The second block is known as the recursive member, which must reference the query name once. Not surprisingly, the recursive member is responsible for recursing through the child records. If you've used the connect by prior method in the past, the output will look a little odd as it's ordered differently. The recursive subquery factoring clause allows us to alter the order of the data. The order the rows are processed in is determined by the search clause, which has two methods. Breadth first, sibling rows are returned before child rows are processed, and depth first, child rows are returned before siblings are processed. For the rest of the video we'll use depth first, because that's what we're used to when we're using connect by prior. The output should now look a little more familiar. This query shows us how we can implement an equivalent of level to show us the level of indentation in the hierarchy. The anchor member has the level hard-coded to 1 for all root nodes. The recursive member increments the level for each recursion. We can see this is behaving just like the level pseudo column in a connect by prior. Implementing an equivalent of sysconnect by root is really simple. The anchor member just sets the root ID to be the current ID, and the recursive member keeps using the same ID. In this case, there's only a single root node, but there's nothing to stop us having many of these. To implement sysconnect by path, the anchor member just sets the path to the current ID, and the recursive member concatenates its ID onto the existing path. The output shows we get the expected breadcrumb from the root node down to the current row. Let's update the data to create a circular or cyclic reference. The no cycle and connect by is cycle functionality is replicated by using the cycle clause. By specifying this clause, the cycle is detected and the recursion stops, with the cycle column set to the specified value. Unlike connect by prior, this goes one row into the cycle before stopping. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the links in the description box and subscribe to the channel and like the video if you liked it.